guys, I hope you like that demo of my uh, safety light setup. Um, this is purely light setup on the board itself. I have additional lights that I use for my own visibility. Right here, this is the Loom Cube. It is only $80 and it is full aluminum, waterproof. You can dunk it under water as long as you have that protective cap. It charges via micro USB. It goes all the way from 15 lumens all the way up to 1500 lumens. So it really gives you that power to see up ahead and be very visible. Um, this is not something you want to stare directly into. And it definitely, definitely gives me the visibility that I need to be safe um, from oncoming uh, traffic um, in 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 any direction depending on whichever direction I point these lights at. What's also cool is um, on the bottom of it I have a dual light setup okay and the bottom is uh, more of a safety visibility light whereas the top one is more like hey let's let's shine some of the road up ahead and make sure people far away can see me. I like this at the bottom because it is conspicuous, it's easy to mount and take off. It only has up to 90 lumens though. Um, this is the surface surface light, I have uh, links down below. Um, I will probably only use that because I can keep it down there, it's a last resort. But the top one, uh, the Loom Cube, is uh, also smartphone controllable via Bluetooth. I also use it for photography, videography, uh, related things in a pinch and uh, you know they're so small and so super rugged and it's it's made of aluminum and uh, I, I can't say enough great things about it. The only thing I dislike about it as you can see in one of the videos is it has a slightly green tinge, slightly. And that's because the CRI value, uh, color rendering index, is not as high as uh, I would like. But it's it's perfectly fine um, in this case, uh, in in this use case scenario. I have it mounted via GoPro mount. This is the standard mounts that came with my GoPro, and it's 3M VHB tape um, that is already included in the mount. Um, and you could just paste that right on top of your your uh, boosted board or skateboard and it just generally will not come off now I didn't really try to kick it hard um, to uh, try to try to knock it off or anything but uh, it, it actually works and holds very well the weakness of this is that the um, the light has to be really tight so otherwise um, it will tend to flash forward down towards the floor um, rather than uh, whatever level that you left it at. So as I said, the light is, is fully configurable via Bluetooth through free apps that you can uh, adjust the uh, output settings, level settings. You can control multiple of these lights, synchronize it and everything. It's really easy to put on and take off. Um, I'll generally only use it in really dark areas and, and um, because it has a one hour runtime at full max 1500 lumens it's not something that i don't that i think i'm going to have a problem with um, because generally when i go out boarding it's not going to be over an hour right given the battery life all right closer look at the surface it just uses rubber mounts um, on the bottom there are two basically rubber silicone bands uh that that uh, two pairs all right so the ones i have in front i'm using i believe the uh the longer pair and then I have a corresponding set in the back that is a shorter pair um, that easily mounts through here. And on the front side, I just I just mounted. The, there's the slot up in front that has some holes. Um, on the back side, I actually mounted directly to the to the uh, the two cables that, that come out um, from the from the battery lines um, to the motors, and that seems to hold very well as well. Um, as you can see in the back, I also have the GoPro. GoPro adhesive mounts and I can actually attach some other lights in there but I'm finding that the rear lights seem to be uh, bright enough for my general purposes. Keep in mind these are only board mounted lights that I'm featuring here. In addition to the board mounted lights I also have uh, my Sago Light Hot Shot which I did a first look review in comparison of the Planet Blaze bike set. Um, you can check that out in a separate video. Um, this only gives 35 lumens but it's got one hour, uh, one mile, over one mile visibility from that and it's actually quite quite bright and bright enough and what's this also great is that um, it, it oh also that these lights also come with a lifetime guarantee uh, one year guarantee on the batteries only though it's really easy to turn on and off just by pressing this little button down on the bottom and uh, one thing that I don't like is that it protrudes a little bit the way I have it mounted protrudes a little bit more outside of the board so um, just by a couple of millimeters the way I have it mounted so it's not really flush so the problem there is if you like to hold the board up, uh, standing up, um, you would probably scrape it. 
So um, that's something that I'm going to play around with and see if I can figure out to, a, a way to uh, mount it even further down. Here's an upside down view of the uh, the front light mounted, and um, you know the, it's it's since it's it's mounted via rubber, it's uh, it's it's quite flexible and it has different flashing modes. There's at least four different modes f for each of the lights, and uh, different different light levels, um, if you will. So I'm showing you when you first turn it on, it's actually maximum brightness and then and then lower brightness and then you got the blinking light two two different levels of blinky lights and then finally off on the surface rear light so yeah i i like this setup uh pretty well i kind of uh, made it up um, from viewing what uh, other people have done why i made this video is primarily because um i i didn't see enough about this i think safety is really important and if you ride where it is uh if, if you well i like to ride when it's a little bit cooler so sometimes that's that's either early mornings or late in the evening um, i want to make sure that i'm visible and safe um, safety first right so there you have it these are the lights that i use currently on my boosted board version 2 um, because i just can't wait for boosted to release those accessories that they talked about right when's that coming i don't know but let's let's hope the extended battery comes out to us uh, first soon and then the accessory shortly after all right thanks for watching hope this was useful to you uh, links for all this stuff is down below in the youtube description